This is why Amazon is getting involved in boxing. Amazon in a previous time has spent a lot of money on shows. $250 million for the rights of Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. And that was just for the appendices. It wasn't even the whole franchise of Lord of the Rings. Just a small fraction to be able to create a TV show. Everything else Lord of the Rings is currently up for sale for $2 billion. The total cost Amazon forked out for the Lord of the Rings Rings of Power was $715 million just for one season. Keep the change, you filthy animal. And a second season is coming. How much are they going to pay for that? Show me the money. To put it in perspective, Game of Thrones cost $1.6 billion for 73 episodes. Amazon have almost reached half of that for one season. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. Also, the Rings of Power didn't do so well for how much they forked out. For the most expensive TV series in history, 37% completion rate, meaning 37% of people watched the entire series. And overseas, 45% of people watched the entire series. 50% completion is solid, but not a spectacular result. It's just an okay result. And they fell shy of that overseas and also in the US. It also didn't receive any major nominations from the guilds, except from the SAG, which was for stunt assessment. Assembly. Stunt Assembly. And that was just a nomination. That's all they have to show for, for $715 million paid. One does not simply walk into Mordor. The Rings of Power also only ranked 15th in minutes watched in 2022, where Amazon's other show, The Boys, came in at 11th spot, with Netflix taking all the top 9 spots. So Amazon didn't even get in the top 10 for minutes watched in 2022 even though they paid the most ever for a TV show. Houston, we have a problem. In 2021, Amazon was the first streamer to make a deal with the NFL for Thursday night football. This 11 year deal gives exclusive rights to Thursday night football to the Amazon streaming service. The deal cost 1 billion per season. So 11 billion over 11 years. However, this seemed like a good venture because this launch produced the biggest three hours for signups ever in the history of Amazon Prime. The deal has shown Amazon a new pathway to gain more subscriptions with streaming sports. The success of making scripted entertainment is unpredictable, like the rings of power. Doesn't matter how much money you throw at it, it's not guaranteed success. Adding sports made more progress in 24 hours than eight years of TV shows and movies, which is crazy. You just start adding sports that people wanna watch and then subscriptions just boost. So what has Amazon now decided to do is venture into the pay-per-view boxing. So Amazon is due to deliver their first pay-per-view event on the 30th of March, 2024 with Tim Zhu taking on Keith Thurman, which is going to be an interesting fight even though Keith Thurman hasn't fought in two years. It is also reported that Tank Davis is due to fight in the UK between June and August, a date still yet to be confirmed. Let's break down the value amount potential for Amazon getting involved in pay-per-view. Let's use the Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight as an example of the potential earnings that Amazon could make from pay-per-view boxing broadcasting and understand why they're trying to get involved in this game. The gold standard in boxing pay-per-view buys today is around a million buys. Tank vs. Ryan Garcia made it to 1.2 million buys. It also had a sold-out live crowd of 20,842 at the T-Mobile Arena. That equaled to the gate revenue being $22.8 million. And the pay-per-view buys generated $102 million. The total promotion made around $150 million after merchandise sales, international sales, and also commercial revenue. For this fight, both fighters were guaranteed around the $5 million mark. 
However, each fighter earned around $30 million after the additional pay-per-view shares. So you're looking about $90 million in earnings after the fighters have been paid. Yes, you still have venue costs and other costs here and there, but the fighters and the promoters and the coaches, they all come under what the fighters get paid. So that's the majority of the overheads that you're going to have in pay-per-view fights with your pay-per-view earnings. So it's better than a poking an eye with a blunt stick. Lots of things you can do with this stick, Elmo. So you start to understand why Amazon is looking at getting into the pay-per-view broadcasting game. Okay, let's look at the pros. One, Amazon has a lot of money. A lot of money means a lot of money to put into the pay-per-view broadcasting services and into the hands of boxing. Number two, could potentially be a marketing strategy to drop the price of pay-per-views to try and dominate the markets and weed out everyone else that's hiking their prices up. This may not happen, but potentially it could. I mean, Amazon has enough money to be able to drop the prices of the pay-per-view and try and weed out all the competition but also still pay and offer the fighters decent money number three more big fights we've seen the saudis offer a lot of big dollars to see a lot of good fights recently this has been great for boxing if we have another big player coming into the market they could potentially push for more big fights so they can gain more money from their pay-per-view buys and also subscriptions for its streaming services Service. Number four, it also fills the void of Showtime after they bowed out at the end of last year. Number five, PBC have a lot of great fighters. So a lot of great fighters means a lot of potential to have big fights and put them on Amazon's pay-per-view service. Number six, this whole venture works, they will likely invest a lot more money into boxing, especially into the big fights, and continue to add to the great fights that we've had in recent times. So let's look at the cons. Number one, Amazon has a lot of money. So if they see this as being too much effort and too much hassle, they can just walk away. They don't care about losing money. Number two, other streaming services see what Amazon are doing and get involved. And then they start to flood the market, which I guess could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how they compete if they flood the market. But I'm going to say that that's a con. Number three, if they dominate, they'll set the price to what they want, meaning they'll increase the price if they like. If they reduce all their competition and it comes down to them being the main broadcasting system, then they will have a monopoly and do what they want with their price. Pricing, which could increase the price of pay-per-view fights by more than what it currently is. And before, they only have PBC fighters, meaning it's a bit more difficult to make the fights that people want to see if other good fighters are with other promotional companies. Number five, more politics in boxing with another player in the game. Adding a streaming service to the boxing game just makes the whole boxing game even more complicated and more political. It's political enough at the moment as it is with all these promoters and broadcasters and sanctioning bodies. It's just so confusing at the moment because there's so many people with their fingers in the pie. And this will be another player sticking their finger in the pie. I think boxing is heading in the right direction, especially with the Saudis now coming to the party and creating all these big fights through last year and continuing on through to this year. With Amazon joining the party, I think they're just going to throw more money into the mix and have the potential to create larger fights that people want to see. Amazon's priority is going to be to try and create these big fights so they can make more money from the pay-per-view sales they're a business they're about money that's what they want to make and how do you make money in boxing by creating big fights so in turn this is going to give the fans what they want the fights that they want and people will pay more people will pay for the fights that they want anyway that's my thought on the whole amazon prime pbc situation all in all i think it's good for boxing yeah well you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. But let's wait and see. Who knows? What are your thoughts? Leave your comments below. Let me know. Until next time, peace out.